I think all of us here are sort of have a big understanding of why we're doing this rally in the first place. Um, you know, it's to protect the attacks on DACA. On, it's a bump, um, but not a formidable mountain. I'm undocumented and unafraid. According to young undocumented immigrants like Alejandra, unafraid but unwilling to give her last name. I'm from Guatemala. I immigrated to the U.S. when I was 12 years old. I knew automatically I was undocumented after overstaying my visa. She says she wouldn't have been able to go to college without DACA, and it's now under threat. Took to the street and shut it down! About 100 demonstrators marched from Sturgis Park to the Chinatown International District. They blocked intersections, fighting for the 800,000 people who have benefited from the program in the last five years. Washington State is home to approximately 43,000 more who are currently eligible for DACA. DACA got me my first full-time job. Um, and thanks to it, um, I also just bought my first home uh, with my family. So DACA has given me the opportunities and we need to continue to fight for it and protect for it, but also continue to fight for the liberation of all undocumented people. At Hey Hey Park, more stories. I couldn't be afforded this privilege, this opportunity, because I was undocumented. And I knew this, my family knew this, but no one else could know this. I do consider the United States my home because I have lived a very long time here. And I just wish that it would consider me one of its own as well. Former mayoral candidate Nikita Oliver with the rally's final words. We have to be willing to challenge the city of Seattle to say that if you're going to call yourself a sanctuary city, you put your money, your resources, and your police force where your words are, where your mouth is. Nikita Oliver came here after she conceded the mayoral race today. She says not all good things in Seattle happen because of elected officials, but rather when, quote, white, wealthy communities listened to people of color, mobilized and pushed elected officials. The deadline for President Trump to make a decision on DACA is three weeks from today. At Hinghe Park, I'm Lily Tan, King 5 News.